All right, so good morning, everybody. This video, look at my dog. This video is for all the people out there who want to, how do I make this work better here? All right, we're just gonna do it like this. Who want to judge me for my comments. You wanna question me on what I've been through in my life. So I'm gonna break it down real quick. When I was 18, I was hanging out with some stupid kids who did some burglaries. Because I hung out with them, they got in trouble, they told on me. So I ended up getting my first felony for hanging out with some kids and not telling on them, which I ran from, ended up on the streets in San Francisco. In San Francisco, I learned to survive. I started selling weed and acid, more acid and then weed. Uh, I've been in trouble for selling weed. I have been to jail probably like probably like four to six years in county. Swear to God, at least for possession of weed for probation violations. Never, ever, ever have I been in trouble for anything big. One time I got profiled riding through the tenderloin on my bicycle and the cops pulled me over and I had a pound of mushrooms in my backpack. My mushrooms went to the dirty DA and I beat my case. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, in San Francisco, I usually got in trouble for selling a 20 bag of marijuana. Why a 20 bag of marijuana? Well, because I smoked cigarettes and I wanted to smoke some fucking cigarettes and I didn't really want to smoke weed. So I ended up getting in trouble for a $20 sale of marijuana. Then when you get on probation, the cops in San Francisco legally can profile you on probation so they would pat me down and search me they would find like a gram of weed in a pot pipe well because you already have an arrest for sales of marijuana they will just arrest you for an 11361 which is an intent to distribute marijuana because an 11360 is a for sales of marijuana so then you would get arrested for an intent to distribute you would go downtown then they would drop your 11361 then you'd get a probation violation and then I would do six months in jail or eight months in jail, or four months in jail, or six months in jail. More likely I did six months in jail almost every time I was arrested. And I watched all these other people doing drugs, getting in trouble, junkies, heroin addicts, crackheads, alcoholics, they were always in and out of jail, in and out of jail, in and out of jail, while I'm just sitting there for six to eight months for possession of like a gram of marijuana. So yeah, I got a ton of 11361 arrest, but I was never charged for any of that. And I think that's the most fucked up system I've ever seen that you can get arrested for something, never be convicted of it, but yet they can use your arrest record against you. That doesn't make any sense. I was never proven guilty. Why the hell can you use it against me? I thought that you were guilt you were only guilty if you went to court. If you didn't go to court, you were innocent. Well, apparently not. And uh, then 2007, I got put back on probation. I went to Colorado. I got in trouble selling a couple pills of sassafras to this dude who wanted to get high with his girlfriend at a string cheese show. I'm never going to another string cheese show. Uh, his supposed girlfriend was an undercover cop. They were trying to give me 8 to 12 years, aggravated 24 to 36 years because I have a felony in California for sales of marijuana and I have a felony in Oregon for an association of a burglary because I didn't really do the burglary, but I didn't tell. So I got like, you know, I was an accomplice, I guess. I don't really know. Um, so they were trying to give me 8 to 12 years, aggravated 24 to 36. I fought it. I stood up, I talked to the judge, I got it down to two years and two years. I was much happier doing four years than doing a half a lifetime for two pills of sassafras. I come back to California after I get off of parole and uh, I get in trouble for once again for selling a gram of marijuana so that I can buy a pack of cigarettes. On probation, the undercovers were messing with some people that were fighting who were on probation, who had stayaways from that area of the Golden Gate Park. For some reason, they come after me behind Hippie Hill. They stop me, they search me. I have $6, a gram of weed, and a gram and a half of weed, and a pot pipe. 
I just did eight months and 25 days for possession of an ounce of marijuana because I had a miracle marijuana script, but it was in my hotel room when they stopped me. And because I was on probation, they arrested me. So I just did eight months and 25 days. I was out of jail for five fucking days. They stopped me for a gram and a half of marijuana. The judge revoked my probation and sent me back to prison. Sent me to fucking prison for possession of marijuana. All right. So then, so yeah, now I have, I have like three felonies of marijuana, three felonies of marijuana. I believe I have three felonies for pot and, uh, and then, uh, on parole, I was continuing selling weed because, you know, I was a young kid. I was learning. I got set up and robbed by this Vietnamese girl with her three black friends and they robbed me with a 12 gauge motherfucking shotgun this close to my goddamn fucking face. I'm a goddamn gangster. I told that guy with a gun, fuck you. You're taking my weed. I ain't giving you my phone and I ain't giving you my goddamn wallet. Fuck you. You're taking my weed. He cocked it. I said, I'll tell you what. I took the battery out of my phone. I gave him the battery. He ran off. I pursued the two people with my backpack, not for the three ounces of strawberry cough that they were going to buy because I had a 1988 Grateful Dead bootleg book in my backpack. That's what I wanted. So then I get arrested for that. They charge me for assault and deadly weapons, sales of marijuana, and battery. Battery? I didn't even hit anybody. Oh, but I'm the white guy. That's right. Because the black people that robbed me got away with it. Go figure. Because I'm the white guy. I always get in trouble for everything. And uh, I know a lot of you don't like my opinions. I could give a fucking rat's ass. Because when I go to prison, I do what I want to do. I do what I want to do. I do what I want to do. None of you can tell me how to speak or think. I fought for my goddamn freedom, and I fought for you to be able to smoke marijuana. Don't forget that. The reason that you can smoke marijuana is because of people like me who stood up for the goddamn shit, who believes that it shouldn't be fucking illegal. And because I'm posting videos of cops beating people up and shooting them because you're all resisting arrest. Don't come judging me. I have had a lot of practice dealing with cops. I have had a lot of practice dealing with all types of cops to prison cops, to jail cops, to fucking bailiff cops, to cops, to extradition cops, extradition, man, that's a whole nother story on its own. I mean, I am tired of all you trying to judge me, telling me how I should think because, oh, black lives matter. Fuck your goddamn motherfucking black lives. We fucking matter too, motherfuckers. I fucking matter. Even though none of you fucking like me, I goddamn matter too.